This video is sponsored by Square. Ah, no it's not. It's sponsored by Nix Homemade Flapjacks. Endless energy for your photo adventures. Yummy. Good morning from the Isle of Skye. Okay, it's not quite the Isle of Skye. Um, I've driven overnight. I left Skye about 8.30 last night. Um, I'm going down to North East England uh, to see my mum for a few days before spending a week in the Lake District with my wife. So I left, as I said, about 8.30 last night. I stopped off at Ellendon and Castle um, for sunset and post-sunset when the lights come on in the castle. It was okay. I, I wanted to start the vlog there, but the midges were just hellish. Oh, sorry, it's just a, a group of ducks walked by. Uh, walked by. <laughs> walked by. Swam by, yeah, um, a duck with one, two, three, four, five ducklings just swam by, so it just caught my eye. Um, so yeah, I wanted to start the video at Ellendon and Castle, but just the midges were hellish, so it was just way too much for me and I couldn't do it. So I'll show the images uh, in a bit, what I got. No, it wasn't the greatest of sunsets, um, but it was okay. So anyway, after that, I continued on uh, down through Glencoe, Rannoch Moor, and I've come to Loch Awe. Um, which has the well-known Kilkern Castle. I call it Kilkern, some people call it Kilchurn. I don't know, comments below, let me know what you think is the correct pronunciation. Anyway, it's absolutely stunning here this morning. It's misty, um, it's calm, apart from the, the wake that the ducks are now leaving, but that'll, that'll soon disappear. Um, I'll turn the camera around. Excuse me. Now, now, as you can see, well, actually, you can see my cameras all set up there. Um, the castle is behind there. <laughs> it was, it was there earlier. Um, I managed to get a few photographs already, um, but the mist has just come in again, and it's just obscured it. But it'll keep coming and going once the sun gets high. I think it's. Oh yeah, the sun has risen about 20 minutes ago. Um, so as it gets, uh, probably as it gets above the mountains to my left there, um, it'll hopefully burn off the, the mist a bit and it'll reveal the castle again. So I'm going to hang on for a bit. Um, I've got plenty of time. I don't need to well, and get my mums any time I like. So yes, yeah, so I'll just hang around here. I was thinking of going back through to Rannock Moor, um, but I think by time this is burnt off again and I've got some more images, it's probably pointless going there because it'll probably be too late in the morning. So yeah, I'll probably just spend a couple of hours here. So yeah, like I say, I'll um, just hang fire and see what happens with, with the mist turning off, turning off, going away. And um, yeah, I keep making lots of mistakes this morning, so I'm trying to do this in one take. <laughs> so my apologies. Um, yeah, so I'm going to turn off for now and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the... Um, the mist to clear again. I just thought I'd show you some of the images that I took earlier. So I just got the back of the camera here in my uh, 5D Mark IV. So this was one of the first images I took of the castle. Um, obviously when you've got uh, kind of a misty atmosphere to the image, when you've got mist in the image, um, it's good to find contrast for the scene. Um, so here I've got the, um, the grasses in the foreground which are clear, um, so they add contrast, so just zoom in. And I say you can see the castle in the background there, yeah, almost fully covered in mist. But I think that's a really lovely image that, um, yeah, got a really nice kind of well, misty quality to it. You know, it is misty, so yeah. Anyway, let's just scroll through. So that was, uh, so this one here, yes, yeah, so this one's a castle on its own. Um, again, I like this one, hasn't got the, um, the strong contrast in the foreground, but I like it nonetheless. Um, very mono monochromatic, um, so again, if I show you the histogram, it's it's exposed slightly to the right. Um, I could have gone even further, um, but I just wanted to make sure that any of the highlights were in check here. Um, so probably not need you know these these probably don't need much processing at all. Um, got another one, yeah. So here, just change the composition slightly with the grasses. Um, in the foreground, so just using like the, the left hand half of the image with the castle and the, the mountain behind and then the grasses in the, uh, the bottom right corner here. Um, so these are all using the Canon 24-70 to f2.8 lens, I'm shooting at f8. 
and I've got the case polarizer on and that was just the oh this is a series of panels but obviously you're not going to see it quite the same um, yeah, so I did a, a series of panels and then what we got oh yeah I just went back to using the um, the grasses in the foreground on the right and I think that was it oh yeah just a slightly wider shot again and yeah that's it so yeah again so the um, the castle is still shrouded in mist at the moment um, so yep, so like I said earlier, I will just hang fire and see what happens. So as you can probably see behind me, uh, the sun's come out, it's come up above the mountains behind me there. Um, and it's the uh, the mist is now kind of clearing a bit, revealing the castle. So I'll show you my composition. So, yeah, but the castle just there, um, it's similar to shot to what I had earlier. You've got the grasses in the foreground, the castle's up here. I'm currently shooting at f8, 1 30th of a second, just double check my histogram, but it's good. So I'll just take a shot. I think that looks rather nice. Oh, let's play the image again. Yeah, I think that looks rather nice. So it's coming, it's coming really nicely now. The light's hitting the castle really nicely from the side. So I'm just going to keep uh, taking more shots as the uh, as the mist clears and clears, and the sun gets uh, hits more of the castle. Well, as you can see behind me, uh, the mist is pretty much fully, well, it's not fully cleared, but it's almost fully cleared. And the, uh, the ripples on the water are starting, so the reflections are going now. So I'm just going to take a few more shots, um, not too many, and then head back to the car, uh, get a cup of tea and have some breakfast. me done for today I got my cup of tea cheers uh, so Slack thanks for watching this video uh, it's probably gonna be a short one but I hope you liked it and um, as always many thanks for watching the last video the um, the response as usual has been really good um, comments likes and subsequent subscribes sorry the uh, the midges are attacking me again so um, yeah if you like this one please give it a thumbs up um, as always, comments appreciated, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of when I upload a new video. And until that one, bye bye.